We got bruised berries, podcast made simple, and no lie, there's cake at the end. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. It's a grim day for BlackBerry maker Research in Motion. In its earnings call, the company gave some pretty bad news, and it was worse than many expected. BlackBerry 10 devices won't be ready until the first quarter of next year. It was supposed to come out sometime before the holidays. The company is also cutting 5,000 jobs, almost a third of its employees. It has to do something after suffering a heavy operating loss. Some see this as BlackBerry on its deathbed. Apple quietly released a new standalone podcast app that doesn't require iTunes. It gives you a way to find your favorite shows like CNET Update outside of the typical iPod music app, but some have found it to be not so simple to use. If you're interested in trying out some other podcast apps, be sure to check out Downcast, Instacast, or Stitcher Radio, which is like a Pandora for podcasts. If dangerous weather conditions are heading your way, your smartphone can tell you. The National Weather Service is sending severe weather alert warnings to smartphones. It'll look like a text message, but it's not. It uses GPS to send warnings only to people near the danger zone. And it's not limited to weather. Other departments like Homeland Security and FEMA can also send threat alerts. If you're interested in Google's new Nexus 7 tablet, the 16 gig version for $250 is being sold at GameStop. And that means you can throw in some gamer or gadget trade-ins to lower the price. You still have to head over to Google's Play Store, though, for the 8-gig version. And start saying goodbye to the Blockbuster Express DVD rental machines. Redbox bought the machines for $100 million. And the brand new Android 4.1 operating system will not be certified to use Flash. Flash has always been one of the big features that helped Android stand apart from Apple, but Adobe says it's not going to work on Flash for mobile anymore. Everything is moving to HTML5. It's the five-year anniversary of the device that changed our world, the iPhone. So happy birthday, iPhone. Yeah. Uh, remember your first year? You know, you weren't perfect with that AT&T Edge network, and you couldn't send photo text message, and your memory was so tiny. But you taught us concepts like swiping and double tapping and pinch and zoom. And on the 3G, you showed us apps, and you made us so proud when you graduated to 3GS and finally did your first video recording. And you also could cut and paste. You were some trouble to deal with, though, at four with your awkward and Hannah phase, but then you made some new friends with Verizon and Sprint and you introduced us to a nice girl named Siri. Ah, time does fly. That's your tech news update for today. For more on the stories in today's show, visit CNET.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.